Hi, I'm Chuck. I do stuff. Thanks to the recent growth of my channel, I went from four subscribers to, I think, roughly around 60 subscribers in just a matter of days, mainly because of Taco Bandit and Chad. Uh, they featured my truck on their video, uh, on their on their YouTube channel, and you guys have found me from there. Uh, now, as it says in the description, I do random things, uh, bike stuff, truck stuff. Today is going to be random stuff. Uh, this I am going to make them a thank you gift. Uh, I'm going to make each of them a thank you gift for their truck, uh, for their filming equipment. They do use a GoPro uh, Hero 5, I believe, is what we filmed everything on, uh, with the exception of the end scene. Uh, that was actually on my GoPro Hero 4 Silver. Um, now, what I want to make for them is a bed mount. Uh, all I did is I went to Home Depot, got me some steel. I have uh, some bolts, some washers, some, uh, some wing nuts. Uh, bought myself a new hacksaw because I couldn't find my old one in this lovely mess that you see behind me. And I have even more mess over there. The winter gets hectic around here. And, well, I don't keep things as clean as they should be. So another project of mine uh, coming up probably this weekend is to clean up all this mess. Uh, once I get everything together, once I get everything measured out, what I plan on doing is basically making a, an L, upside down L bracket that's uh, uh, slideable. I'm going to cut some slots into this so you can move it up and down and they can actually have the camera mount over the bed so they can get some nice rolling shots as they go along. Now, Toyota does make a it does make a bed rail mount for this. Now I could always I could always buy it for them and say, hey guys, thank you very much, I appreciate it, but I think me actually physically making one, me taking the time to make one, it might have a little bit more meaning for them. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, the other thing I did have to break out, I'm gonna break out my welder if you wonder how I'm gonna put everything together. I have a welder I haven't used probably in 10, 15 years. So pardon my welding skills, uh, they're non-existent. So again, I'm gonna give it a shot. It's always the thought that counts. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, well, you guys are gonna find out and I'll post this video regardless. Now what I've done is I've taken a spacer from my trifold tonneau cover just so I can get the overall, the overall length and overall size I, can, I need to make my own spacer to actually slide inside the bed rails that come standard on all Tacomas. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the applicable length here, drill, uh, mark a couple holes so they can, uh, so I can um, put some uh, put some screws in there so I can have it on the back side and I'm able to have them adjust the mount up and down so how close they want it to the bed or how high up they want it to the bed. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to actually measure that out, uh, measure the, the spacers out, uh, cut two of them because all that's all I'll need is actually two of them. And from there, I'm going to cut everything to length so I can figure out how much travel. And also, I'm going to measure how far out I want the camera to actually go from the bed without any wobble. So I want to see how strong everything is going to be. This is tough. All right, this is where it's going to get interesting. I haven't welded in years and years and years, and that that it was just a hobby. So I'm not that good. My welds are going to be pretty bunk, but uh. We'll see how this goes. saw me clean, you saw me weld this up, saw me clean it up, saw me drill out the holes. I did test fit, everything fits beautifully. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna clean up a little bit more and then I am actually gonna spray this with a 
truck bed liner that I purchased from uh, Pep Boys. Uh, also, I have some uh, just door edge guard that I'm going to put all the way around this so in case it does bump against uh, a truck, it doesn't take off the paint. Uh, other than that, it's almost done, ready to go. Alright, so it's done. All that's left is to test it, see how it works at speed. Uh, it was actually fairly simple. I did use duplicolor dupli truck bed coating to actually put a coating on the mount itself. Again, this is just a thank you for Taco Bandit and Chad for putting me on their, uh, putting me on their channel and taking a look at my truck. Uh, I could have bought something. I'm sure there's a mount. I think Toyota actually makes a mount, but I think, you know, hand making something I think is a little bit more meaningful. Uh, also on the edges up through here, I did use just some standard door edge trim that you'd put on a car. Um, I put that around just so if in case they hit their trucks, uh, they don't scratch up the bed, which uh, I may or may not have done on my own truck. And uh, if I did, I took care of that already. But uh, it's pretty durable. I'm interesting to, interested to see uh, how it's going to react and perform at speed. So I think I'm going to take it on the highway, get it up to about 60, 70 mile an hour, see how stable everything is. So we'll take a look at that. <music> All right, after coming back being at speed, I'm very happy with the results. Uh, it was very stable. Uh, I was able to go 60, 70 mile an hour and this thing was just rock solid, steady all the way through. I have some footage to show you on that too. Well, actually, you would have saw the footage already. Uh, I got thinking about it. Um, since I've done this, my channel has grown. I went from like four or five view, uh, viewers to I wanna say 65 or 70 already. Uh, my one video has over 700 uh, views on it, which is phenomenal because realistically, I've only been a couple weeks been doing this. Uh, so what I'd like to do just to thank you guys, uh, put them, just say something in the comment. I'll, uh, I'll assign a number to you. And if I can get 50 likes, I'll make one of these and send it out on my, uh, on my own dime, on my own time. Send one out to you if you'd like one. Uh, if you have a Tacoma deck rail system, I'll, I'll send everything out to you if you'd like to, to have your own GoPro mount. It's, again, it's a homemade thing. It's, you know, it's my own, it's my own deal. It's my own thing. Uh, if you'd like one, I'll make you one. If I could get 50 likes, I'll do that and send that right out to you. Uh, today is the 25th, 23rd, 25th of, of March. Uh, I'll run this all the way until the April 1st and if I have everything by then I'll just just say something in the comments I'll assign a number to you I'm trying to be very proactive with that and uh, I'll randomly select someone from the comments as long as I get 50 likes all right uh, if this is your first time stopping in uh, please subscribe I have more things in store for my Tacoma I also got a few motorcycles I'm gonna be doing a few things with those right now it's just a little too cold for me uh, I have a few other things I'd like to plan on doing. Uh, next week, I have the review of my buddy's uh, 2017 Limited uh, Tundra that is supercharged and is on a six inch uh, Pro Comp lift. Uh, so look for that. Uh, that should be up next Thursday or so. Uh, I was having audio issues, so I, had, I have to redo that. But everything is up and running and I look forward to seeing you guys uh, next Thursday. Again, first time stopping in, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I just want to thank you very much for your time and have a great day.